It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Let me try and be as excited as Jack Osborne in the Osbournes. <gasps> McRib is back. Oh, Are so you excited. serious, Jack? That's so good. <gasps> McRib is back. Shut up. <laughs> the McRib is back. I could care less. But I did have a McRib years and years and years ago. And if I remember correctly, the Rustler's Burgers... The Russell's Rib Burger is actually better. So in this impulsive video, I am going to buy a Russell's Burger from the Morrisons just there. And then I'm going to go to McDonald's. I'm going to go in there, buy a Russell's Burger. Then I'm going to compare the two. Oh, and as if there's not enough YouTube videos on McRibs today. I bet there's hundreds of them, right? There'll be an... ASMR McRib video by the end of the night where someone's going <laughs> nibbling on a McRib and rubbing the barbecue sauce all over their the fun bags. Right, we just go in here, get a Russell's burger and get the hell out. Oh, look at the horror set. No, you're getting distracted. Come on. 225 or two for 350. So I bought two. I'm gonna have one normal one. I'm gonna drown one in barbecue sauce like they do with the McRib. Oh no, rush hour traffic! Right, this McDonald's isn't half as busy. I gotta take order, please. Uh, can I have a McRib, please? Come on, McDonald's, sort out your dripping roof. It's all coming into the car. Right, let's get this over and done with. Bit of a change of plan. I'm only gonna have one of them and one of them. I don't really fancy eating three of them right now. I'm going to bed in a few hours. Here's the £4.89 McRib. It's got bits of onion and pickles in it. We'll get to that in a minute. It's still warm. And here's the £2.25 Rustler's Burger Rib. They both look like yoga mats. This is going to need microwaving. Bread's going to need toasting. Ugh. Okay, apologies for the way I'm dressed. I'm trying to get this done in a hurry. Typically, the battery on this camera is almost dead. So then I had to find an extension. Anyway, I'm going on. Here is the Rossler's burger, which I almost burnt the bread off because I was looking for an extension for the battery. Ben, you're talking bollocks again. And you've got the McRib here. So Rossler's is just as it, as it came with the barbecue sauce and, you know, whatever. Um, and if I remember rightly, uh, this... They haven't drowned it in barbecue sauce like, like they used to, for whatever reason. First off, I'm going to buy into the McRib. I remember the McRib um, having more of a pork flavour on it, and the uh, Russell's one being a bit more subtle. This is way more subtle than I remember it being. And it's not as drowned in barbecue sauce as they used to be. Um, I'm going to go in for another bite. Okay, this is way better than I actually remember it being. Unless it's changed, I don't know. Now the rustlers with the... I'll go with the side where I haven't burned the bread, shall I? You know, if you added a few pickles and some onions to this, and a bit more barbecue sauce, um, I think I might prefer this over this, if I'm honest. Okay, one more bite of this. The uh, McDonald's one is softer than the um, this, which is a bit more bouncy and yoga matty. I actually forgot that I enjoy these. Oh, the McRib just might have the edge on this one. But, you know, this is like half the price and there's not that much difference between the two. In fact, to finish this off, so I'm not just eating way too much crap before bed. I'm going to put this McRib and this rib on top of each other to finish it off. Mmm, -mm, yummy in my tummy. I might do more food stuff in the future. Although, I don't know. So if you like it, let me know. Um, I'll see you on Sunday with a vlog. McRib is back! You wish you could get excited with little things like that.